the skyline, the pinnacle of a hype tax. This thing has unbelievable price tag for a car that um isn't bad looking, but you know, because of the whole JDM community and Fast and Furious, this car's price has gone dramatically up. I actually, there is one similarly close to my house. It's probably about close to a 15 minute walk from my house. And there is a white Skyline. Nice stock one, and it rarely moves. <laughs> um, I mean, I mean um, let's hope that this thing's actually better than most of the other cars that we've reviewed. And especially better than the R Z R, which currently I think is the highest accelerating car that we have reviewed so far in this. So if we go here all the way up, like from the store cars, here is this. And then I think it actually is the fastest store car we have actually reviewed. The point is we need a car to beat this time right here. 10.9 seconds. Can the Skyline do it? Let's hope it can because it will be pretty disappointing that a farm truck or a farm buggy beats the Skyline. It has one gear, so this might not win. But anyway, we'll listen to the engine sound. And uh, let's hope it actually sounds good. doesn't sound too bad honestly I wouldn't mind driving around in something that sounds like that if I prefer a muscle car as always no I'm not accepting that honestly and on the behalf of the JDM community I am not accepting that you saw that like I had my foot my finger on the W key and it just didn't want to move at all like I had it down but apparently it's like haha no we're not gonna move all right but anyway Let's hope we get a better time. Um, I mean, this car looks really good, honestly, not gonna lie. It's not something I would own. Over some, there's a bunch of other cars I'd owned before this. But uh, it's I'd rather own this over any SUV or anything. 11.9 seconds, that isn't too bad. So that is close, well that's actually a pretty decent time compared to what we've been reviewing so far. Putting this thing right here, it has a huge name, but I'm just gonna call it the Skyline R34. It's like a, it's got like spec, whatever. I'm just gonna write it down. I will fix it later. 0.9, right? That was 0.9. There we go. So it was not as fast as the ATV and the RZR. It was an entire second slower. But again, it isn't a bad option. If you want a car, this is probably the car as of now I would recommend over the top of them. Actually, it would be probably the Model 3 and then this. And then for vehicles overall, it would probably be the RZ R1000 as of now. And we're getting close to uh, the end of Class 1. This Nissan signifies the end of it. And this Jeep, this, uh, not Jeep, Ford Raptor is the first Class 2. We will, re actually no, it's the Rover. <laughs> it's this. It's the uh, Range Rover. But anyway, we are getting very close to the end of Class 2 and the end of these dumb vehicles. Honestly, there'll be more in the future. Class 1's and all, a can of worms of cars that make no sense. But anyway, that's it. It's not a bad car. Anyway, thank you for watching and goodbye.